Hi everybody. One of the first compact crossover SUVs, the Subaru Forester, was released in the late 1990s. It has earned a solid reputation over the years and is one of Subaru's most popular models. The Forester standard all-wheel drive framework and liberal measure of ground freedom have pursued it a famous decision for individuals living in chilly environments, permitting it to handle light rough terrain trails. The smaller Crosstrek, the Outback, and the three-row Ascent are among Subaru's four SUV models. What is the Forester's driving style? The Forester is held back by a largely ineffective engine. The CVT automatic transmission and four-cylinder engine take their time getting up to speed. During the testing, the Forester reached 60 miles per hour in a sluggish 9.3 seconds. Its directing, dealing with and slowing down, then again, are more good. The Forester isn't particularly sporty, especially in comparison to its top rivals, but it feels solid and changes direction quickly and confidently. The Forester excels on moderate to easy off-road trails and dirt roads. It has 8.7 inches of ground clearance and an X-mode drive setting that allows the Forester's powertrain and traction control to be adapted for dirt road driving. Due to its upgraded suspension, all-terrain tires, and slightly higher ground clearance, the Wilderness model is ideal for exploring the outdoors. A typical small crossover SUV lacks the off-road capability of the Forester. Find bargains on a Forester for sale in your area. The Forester's controls are all easily accessible and clearly labeled. There is no mucking about or doing too much. The 8-inch center touchscreen that is available is clear and easy to use. The Forester appears to have been well designed in every way. The tall doors and SUV-like ride height make it easier to get in and out. There is enough space for four adults to sit down, possibly five. The driver's seat offers many changes, and the controlling wheel has a lot of extending territory. How's the tech? Any owner, no matter how tech savvy they are, will appreciate Subaru's infotainment features. The double screen community design is alluring and simple to utilize. The navigation system understands voice commands well and is clear. If you prefer Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, Subaru provides both smartphone integration systems as standard. In both the front and the back, there are multiple USB ports. We particularly like the driving aids that come with Subaru EyeSight.
The Forester is kept from drifting out of its lane by the adaptive cruise control system, which works well and now includes lane centering. In our test, forward collision mitigation was never turned on when it wasn't needed. Fuel economy How much fuel do you use? The Forester ranks near the top of the class at 29 combined mpg, according to the EPA. In testing, nonetheless, we found that the frail motor made them pin the choke more, which can make genuine mileage experience a little. Is the Forester worth the money? Depending on how much they want to spend and how fancy they like their cars, buyers of the Forester have a lot of options. The build quality is excellent, and you'll generally feel like you got what you paid for. The warranty offered by Subaru is typical for the industry. The Forester's only notable weakness is acceleration. Even though it's a significant one, it doesn't take away from any of the vehicle's distinctive features. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.